Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm going to give everyone a second to join, and then I'm going to have my friends introduce themselves. I'm assuming you all know these people, but <laughs> I'll have them share what their names are and their channels. Um, I realized I was saying this is like the first public live I've done in a really long time, and I want to start doing weekly lives again. I just kind of went on a little bit of a break from it. I was doing Patreon lives, but I'm excited that it's public today. So um, do you all want to introduce yourselves? It can be short. I know everyone hates doing <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm Kelsey, not scared, but uh, Kelsey Slime and Slashers. That's me. I talk I'm going to call you scared now. You call me scared. That's my nickname. <laughs> I sometimes talk about Nickelodeon, like 90s Nickelodeon, 80s nostalgia. That's where the slime comes from. But slashers because I like horror movies, horror novels. So I really talk about everything. But honestly, it's mainly a book tube channel. But, you know, a little bit of here, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of everything. I'm trying to get like mobster <laughs> for some reason. Well, a little bit. And there's a little bit of this. I'm coming up. I have what coming up? A readathon coming I up. Do. Old school April. If anyone likes nostalgia or doesn't, it doesn't matter. The prompts are very general. So it's a readathon, a watchathon. So if you like movies too, or if you don't, you don't have to do that part. And also an activity a thon. So you can, it's team based. You can earn points just by like eating Pop Tarts and stuff. <laughs> I love that so much. Katrina's a co-host, so she's a purple parrot. Ooh. I'm a blue barracuda, and we have silver snakes. And it's a very friendly competition. Yes. So make sure to check that out. It's in April, which I can't believe we're almost in April. Wow. Oh How God. is it the week of St. Patrick's Day already? Like, what the hell is going on with time? Oh my God. I never know when St. Patrick's Day is ever. I feel like I've never, ever, like, gone out for St. Patrick's Day, which is wild, because I feel like a lot of people do. But I celebrate yeah. it, but at home. It's weird. I'm a weirdo. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to. They do Shamrock the Block here, and mm. I go to it every year since they moved it to, like, closer to me. It used to be, like, downtown. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. I try to go if I'm not working or something. I'll go and, like, yeah. it's just an excuse to, like, drink and eat food. Yeah. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to do that? Yeah. There is an um, Irish-themed parade downtown here, and I went once just because my boyfriend had to film it for, like, this gig he was doing, and someone threw a potato at my head. Like, well, because they throw potatoes. It wasn't just some random person throwing one lone potato, but... Wait, yeah. a baked potato or, like, a hard-ass A hard potato. potato! And I literally was like, whoa! And I missed it. So it That's the scary. most New Orleans thing ever, I feel like. Like, because we were on a balcony because he was filming and he needed a good spot. So we were like prime targets. Like, some drunkies on the floats were like, oh, boosh. And I was like, no. It was very scary. Oh, Harry, that could literally do some damage. I know. I could have been out for the count, like, freaking up there. Paul would have had to drag me home, but. um. Could you imagine lot. you go to the, like, ER and you're like, a potato hit my head? I've been <laughs> potatoed. Please help me. Oh my god, well, I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> so funny. Story. Uh, <laughs> Katrina, if you want to introduce yourself. Uh, yes, uh, my channel is my name, Katrina, and or Katrina Brown, and uh, I read mostly horror books, horror all year, some thrillers, and some sci-fi, like sci-fi horror. And yes, I am a co-host for uh, Old School April go purple parrots mm -hmm. and um i do read vintage horror as well here and there nice um also i should say i love your background katrina sorry Thank you. i need to read these comments i'm behind <laughs> oops <laughs> I love how I think Roxy commented this like last night. Yeah, she even says later on, like, I've been here since last night. <laughs> like, that's hard to Well, I'm glad you're here. This comment cracked me up. I was like, Roxy's ready. Um, hello, Amy. Hello. Hello, Ro or pff, Roxy. What the hell? I should say my brain is a little bit tired right now. So sorry. <laughs> hello, uh, Sierra. Um, hello. Hello, hello. Um, not only am I here, I'm here on time. Nice. I'm never on time to anything, even my job. I can't feel bad, but 
<laughs> well, me neither. Like, I woke up late today, like, because I work from home. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> and then I got I'm to always dinner. a minute late, at least. <laughs> or I'm like on time, which is like not really on time, you know, where you're like walking in the door, like. <laughs> Right as, it, as the time hits. <laughs> I'm horrible. That's like the biggest thing that um, like when I worked at coffee shops and stuff and like uh, because now I basically am self-employed, but <laughs> I go into a space right now. That's what I mean. But before people would always be like, you need to be on time. <laughs> like that was always like my critique. I was like, sorry. Um, I've been here since last night. <laughs> Just sitting out looking at the screen. I have no stories yet. You know, yes, the night is young. Um, hello, I will be reading Bride by Allie Hazelwood. Everybody is reading this. Have you all read it? I'm assuming, isn't it fantasy? It's a romanticy, I think. Okay, do you all know <laughs> that I love Akatar now? <laughs> yes, I saw that on Gunnery the other day. I it didn't like, know what was your review. I get it. 4.5. I read everything and I've ordered stickers. What is happening to me? Like, I'm loving it though. Like, I'm so glad. I thought that I wouldn't like fantasy really or romance, but I think like the combo of it just worked so well for me. And now I'm like really excited about reading and I'm like, I need to read more. Yay! So <laughs> I love evolution, like, you know, getting. Mm -hmm you know, used to what you like when you've been one way for so long and then all of a sudden you discover something different. That's yeah. I like some romance now too, but it's always romance with like usually a magical realism kind of tint. So not fantasy or like romanticy, yeah. but kind of almost in that same vein a little bit. What is a good like book you would say encompasses that? I think too, I really liked Just Like Magic, but that also had humor but mm. magical realism like this girl accidentally like conjures the spirit of christmas and it's a man and then okay. she uses him to like impress her family but then they fall in love whatevs but the mm. other one that's a little more serious and deals with grief is the dead romantics by ashley poston i think katrina do you I, know who wrote I, that I, one uh no i think it's ashley poston but i like that one a lot because um it's got humor it's got depth because of the grief and it's got magical realism because she could see ghosts mm. so I was like yes ghosts I feel like that makes sense though that that would go with like someone who likes horror yeah like I, I understand yeah did you read Akatar Katrina I did <laughs> did you hate it <laughs> it was okay I read it because my friend um in real life was like I really like this you should read it and mm -hmm. I read it and I was like it's okay was it just the first book though yeah it was just the first book that's the thing. That's the that's the thing. How many but books also, are there? There's well, there's technically like four big books, but then there or yeah, four big books, but then there's a novella. So that's the prequel one. Well, it's the Is three it? and a half. It's like three between half. between three and four. Yeah. So the Throne of Glass series has a prequel, and that's like that's the one. That's the one where everyone like argues about like which order to read it. And I think I've decided I'm going to try Throne of Glass and read the prequel first. And the ultimate determining factor actually was looking at the end of the book where it has like all the, you know, pictures of the series and seeing that the author put it first. I was like, OK, I'll do that. So author knows best, I would guess. Yeah, and, like, the reason behind it, people were saying it makes you more attached to the characters. Like, you actually understand why you care about the character in the first book, whereas if you read it later, it's kind of like you're not as motivated. But um, I am reading Fangirl, but we are about to start cooking supper. Mm -hmm. Hi, Carly. How are you? Um, we do know these people. <laughs> Currently in bed instead of my lecture. Oh. Love that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you, Rocky. It just brings the craziness I'm looking for. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hi, Catherine. Um, Katrina brings the Halloween vibes year round. Yes. So good. I also changed the color of where the names are to match her background. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, we we're backstage and I was like, I like that color tonight. Um, Kelsey, don't you live in Louisiana? Doesn't surprise me. Yeah, potatoes being flown, like being thrown and flying through the air. It's kind of normal for, for New Orleans. 
Roxy has so many like Louisiana stories. Like she said her somebody in her neighborhood has a pet um crocodile or something oh. or like alligator. And I'm like, that's a thing. I can no. I can believe it. Yes. Have you what's the weirdest thing you've seen? Well, maybe maybe uh, <laughs> I we, mean we went down Bourbon Street with um we don't like obviously like locals don't usually go down there just because since it's yeah. like very touristy, but my boyfriend's mom was visiting and we we're like, oh, we'll just go down there. We sometimes just, like take visitors down there and randomly these people come by on mopeds down the street and they've got these huge boa constrictors wrapped around their arms and they're like, yeah, and I was like, what's happening? And then, so I thought they were just like chilling with their snakes, like rolling down the street, but no, <laughs> then they set up and they were like, you want to pet my snake? And I'm like, no no bitch pardon my french so i just walked away but that's one of the crazy things did There's... you say it like that to them <laughs> no no i just was like no when I got near the snake i was like oh i my... feel like that should be a meme like kind of like ducking away and it says no bitch my face said no bitch basically i was like oh no uh, and... like they just felt as if that would be a smart idea I guess they were like, I guess our big snakes can make us money down on Bourbon <laughs> Street. It was very weird. But um, that was one of the weird things. I'm sure there's been way more weirder things I can think of. But right now, that's what comes like to, to the top of my memory. That's quite strange. <laughs> the mopeds. Like, it'd be one thing if they're just walking with a snake. Still weird. But really re weird that they're rolling up with, like, a I like, forgot like, the moped. See, I immediately was distracted when you said, like, big boa constrictor. I just thought of that. But the moped thing, that's, like, that's a lot. They were, like, a, sn like a snake moped gang. It was really <laughs> weird. Like, the way they rolled up, they were, like, coming at me all around, surrounding They us. called us the snakes. Yeah. They're on a tiny moped. Oh, my gosh. I feel like that's also kind of not the best idea because there's people like terrified of snakes, like yeah. just surrounding someone that you don't know. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm not that scared of snakes, but I feel like if I was like surrounded by like random strangers on mopeds with snakes, I would be like, get away. It was weird, but it was yeah. great. It was so New Orleans. <laughs> um, hello. I live in Cajun con country in louisiana and i got stories for years yeah i'm cajun like part cajun my mom's like cajun descent so i, I feel your oxy oh i love this though I, I love hearing all the stories purple parrots for life my saint patty's day plan is likely just getting a fun drink themed green sounds like a good good plan kelsey and katrina's backgrounds are awesome i know they are Thank both you. really awesome I love how in your background, Kelsey, can you like twirl the thing? Like, is that? Oh, is that, like a yeah. Is that what it is? My dad gave me that for my birthday. It's made for greeting cards. I think he just Googled like greeting ca card holder on Amazon and he got this and you can spin it and the plastic like comes out so it can even fit thicker books. You just got to make sure you take like, there's like a plastic part that keeps the book from falling. So you just uh -huh. take that out like put the book in and put the plastic yeah. back it, it's cool. awesome that's so cool I love seeing everybody's like reading setups well in background setups um I'm reading the ravenous dead your actar journey on your insta stories <laughs> it's been wild and I'm loving this for you I know I like didn't post any stories forever and then I just like all of a sudden I'm back with Akatar it's so funny to me if you ordered stickers at Sears. uh yeah i'm gonna decorate my kindle case well i ordered a clear kindle case and then it's the wrong size because i have beef with kindle first of all the same generation or whatever are like different sizes depending on the year it came out in i'm so confused so i ordered i was like oh i'm pretty sure it's the 2019 version but it's the 2018 version oh. so it was it was too big so i have to wait for it to come in but yeah i ordered some stickers i have some other stickers and i also got these cute taylor swift stickers there's like a bunch of them that came in like a oh. giant pack for like five dollars so probably gonna do like that plus akatar but i don't know where my akatar stickers are oh they're in here 
I got them. Ooh. My um, <laughs> I accidentally. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I accidentally sent um a picture of all my Akatar stickers to my students. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's amazing. <laughs> but it, I unsent it. But I was just like, <laughs> oh my god. And one of the stickers on it is kind of like, I don't know. It's like if you haven't read the book, you wouldn't know. But it says something like bats and their wingspans. So is it like a steamy reference kind of? Yeah, it's like the bigger the wingspan, the oh. bigger the <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's just like, oh, no. <laughs> but I like unsent it immediately. And also, I don't think they would have known what it meant. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's just like... Dang it! Why is everybody named this name? Like, I have. Have you seen the TikToker guy who's like reading a Sarah J. Mass book and he gets mad at Sarah J. Mass because he's like, uh, no. "This is um, holding me up to like perform more and <laughs> perform like this for my girlfriend." Like, I didn't know how to phrase that. Right? Like, <laughs> like he's saying this is like unfair because now my girlfriend expects me to be. <laughs> no, I want to yeah. see that. That's so funny. He's like, oh. how, how many times? How and you're like, how can I live up to this? <laughs> yeah. I surprisingly am not on TikTok. Like, I do have a TikTok, but I never look at it. But I feel like I'm always on the edge. Like, I should watch book talk, but also it's going to, like, take away more time. So, because it's, it's a dick. crazy over there. Yeah. It's so a I'm whole other thing. It's a whole other beast, I feel like. <laughs> Aren't people like angry over there too? There's just like a lot of drama. Mm -hmm. Like it with all the genres, within the genres. I would really? say mostly romance gets a lot of it, but fantasy will get some. Mm. Horror community has gotten some. So even just, like indie horror. Yeah. Just about like my books better than yours that kind of thing it's just like controversies mm, usually like what i've noticed like yeah. author, mostly authors behaving badly right um, yeah see yeah. i just don't think i'll go down the tiktok rabbit hole because then i will waste all my time on tiktok i've just said that since the beginning but it's tempting because then now i just see reels on instagram and usually they're just of animals so Reels are my jam. I'm I'm kind of like one of those old people or older people who are like, I'm just going to be on the reels on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> but there wouldn't be reels if there wasn't TikTok. I, I know. know. So like, as the, yeah, I know. Um, I'll be reading Kelsey's book club pick, Knock Knock Open Wide. Yay. Is that a horror? It's, oh. yeah, it's an Irish themed horror book, but I'm sure it's got um like dramatic elements in it too. I Mm. Um, let's see. Of course, I don't have the book cover, but here's the, it's kind of a plain, just regular hardback, but uh -huh. I'm excited because it's got Celtic mythology and I just love Irish stuff. So I'm like, oh, yeah. I yeah. I was going to ask also, what are you all going to be reading today or doing during the sprint? You want to um, go first, Katrina? You go. I'm listening to a arc called Youth Juice this cover yeah, blood yeah it's like blood Ooh. by ek satu and it um i looked up the blurb of it and it's like american psycho meets devil wears prada oh. i'm getting it but it reminds me of rouge too so. Ooh, that sounds interesting I'm torn yeah. between reading Knock Knock Open Wide, because I did start this yesterday. I'm like 100 pages in. Uh, or continuing on with, like, this is a historical fiction book, which I don't usually read. But I'm really liking this one. It's called Speaks the Nightbird. These dudes are going to a small town to investigate if there's really, like, a witch. Since, you know, people believed in witches back then. So, like, we're going to investigate and see if this woman is guilty of witchcraft. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. <laughs> So I was it's just like, let's go. We're going. We're going in the sprint. <laughs> I don't know. I was just trying to be prepared. Okay, oh, yeah. so like a witchcraft, like, is is it a witch kind of thing? I don't think it is a witch, but I think there is magical realism in the book. So I think there could mm -hmm. be magic going on, but not by this person accused of being a witch. Hmm. That sounds good. I really liked um the year of the witching, and I like that aspect of like, is she a witch? Um, 
So I feel like I need to, I also really like slew foot. Too. I loved slew foot. I read that for Halloween this past year. So yeah. good. Brown I know. I, mean, uh, I know. I want to read more like witchy books, but I feel like I want to wait until like October or actually August. I feel like that's when I start my Halloween. You know, it's like, all right, it's time for time for Halloween. Yes. Um, I think I'm going to be trying to read. I'm saying trying because who knows if I could physically focus right now, but um, this one's going to hurt. Ooh. I've been wanting to read this for so long and Sierra actually sent it to me, which was so kind. Um, and I just started it last night. I only literally read like two chapters. Um, and I think the chapters are pretty short in here, but it's like a slasher out in the desert. So I think Trina, you've read it, right? Yeah, I really liked it. I think I yeah. gave it five stars. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm very I, excited. Um, so far, I actually have an arc from this author right now in my email. Ooh. I just remembered. I was like, oh snap! He just emailed me. What <laughs> an is arc the, I have to read? Um, what is the book gonna be? Oh, or like, maybe. is it another slasher kind of thing? I think so. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't have to like rush and try to find it now. You could tell us when we come back. I think I'm going to start the first sprint um, and then I'll pick up where I left off in the comments. Um, but I'm going to do 30, I almost said 30 seconds. That would be seconds. like the quickest sprint ever. <laughs> be like read two words or whatever. Um, so no, we're going to do 30 minutes. Um, and then I will talk to you all then.
Hello. <clears throat> I took a big bite of food. <laughs> I was cooking dinner in that sprint. I didn't read and I made like a bowl of salmon and it does not look that great, but it was actually very good. It's like salmon and rice and spinach. That's what I did. What did everybody else do? Katrina, you um, go first. I, well, I found Cody's ARC. Um, of course, I forgot to download it, uh, but it's called Find Him, Kill Him. It's a revenge story, uh, but I have it downloaded now, so I'm going to try to read it because I'm doing like a reading new horror arc thing, blog. So oh. I'm going to attempt to do it like next. <laughs> oh, nice. Is it revenge? <laughs> like, is the main character a girl or? I believe so. Nice. I think that's what it was. But I felt so bad because I always forget to like actually hit download mm -hmm. on arcs. All the time I like open them up and I'm like, I forget to hit download and then it's lost forever in my Gmail. So I did it though. I, the, I'm so glad you're reading that because I wouldn't know you were talking about it. <laughs> I know. I was like, I might as well just see more information about the arc because I feel like I'll like this. I don't want to like say I'll for sure like it because I'm not that far, but I'm liking it so far. And basically, I don't know. I'm not even that far into it, but I like the writing style. So It's a good summer one. I think yeah. It's a good summer slasher. Yeah. And I like slashers. Um, and I just read Taste Like Candy or yeah, Taste Like Candy. And I liked it. So that's like my favorite slasher. It's good. <laughs> I love it's, that slasher. It's really fun. I read most of it in one night and I had a good time. Yeah, it's just I, like simple, fun. I mean, yeah. I predicted who is that called for stuff, but like to me, it was more about like the awesome kills and just the fun yeah. vibe. Me too. And I feel like there's a lot of critiques with it that I understand what the critiques are, but I had fun with it. So I don't know. Same. I yeah. And I think I just love carnival atmosphere in my books. Like that's so fun for me. I love it. Me too. It's so good. It's such a great setting for like yeah. any book, but especially for like spooky horror books. Yes. Yes. I know. It's so good. Um, what were you doing during that? Sprint? All I did was work on my journal. Trying right. to do this cool graph thing, like for my TBR, like I'm going to keep track of like which book which prompts fit the book because multiple prompts Ooh. can but like i started to put these this tape on it and i was like did i make oh. a mistake i'm gonna freaking like what if i don't have enough room to write i don't know anyway it's I, cute thank i you. like that it's like really reflective yeah it's kind of very 90s like shiny yeah. and sparkly so i was like yeah it's cool i guess yeah, i just I was hope i say, can write in it i was gonna say that reminds me of when i was young like all the graphics and like Oh, just like gel pens and like all of that stuff. Like it gives me that vibe. Yeah, that's what I was going for kind of. Mm -hmm. I really want to start a reading journal again, but I kind of want to just start over and get a new one. But I feel like I'm not going to be able to get one tonight unless Target has one. Do you all know if Target has one? Hmm. I know Michaels has them. Mm hmm. That's where I wanted to go, but they close at nine and it's already eight. So, I mean, I'm not going to yeah. make it tonight. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I also am just like inspired with all my stickers. I want to use them. <laughs> like I need Did an you? outlet. Sav, didn't your journal do you have like the black? And you yeah. The yeah, that's cool. It was cool in theory, but then when I was doing it, it didn't work out. Yeah. I think the reason why is because like, white gel pens are really obvious when they don't look perfect and so I got like really annoyed at the pens how they looked on the black paper and then I just decided well then I fell off the bandwagon and I got even like paint pens and stuff but the paint pens like went bad like right away so yeah. I just got and stuff yeah yeah so I feel like in it was one of those things where it was like, in theory, it was awesome. And like a couple of the spreads I really liked, but I'm just going to go back to a normal journal and I hope that I can keep up with it better because it's fun. But I just got frustrated with the journal, which sucks because it was a nice one. It was an Archer and Olive. Like they have really, really nice yeah. journals. 
but I yeah, saw someone do really like a, nice. oh, sorry, Katrina. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I was just saying that Archer and Olive, I think, released like a whole black one. And someone who I guess was like an affiliate with them did like a old gothic style, like with windows and columns. And wow. But it took a lot of dedication. I mean, you could tell she was like, I'm going to have yeah. to buy like 20 white gel pens. Yeah. And... No. See, it's so cool if you're like really talented as an artist, but that's not me. <laughs> yeah, she was yeah. like drawing shit. I was like, there's no way. Like, I'd never be able to do a black like page journal. There's no way. I know. I I've I... ever done a black page journal. Yeah. My freaking spread for March is just chaos. It was like, hello, welcome I like it. to the weirdo. I like that. I like I, when people do it just like. Looks like scrapbooky vibes like you did there like it looks cool I never was able to master that I don't know what it was but for me mine was always very like sticker focused and like this is February I one. oh I love it, that it looks like oh. I'm obsessed with uh Megan Fox <laughs> I know Jennifer's body yes yeah, such a good you're like her stalker it looks like oh, I'm writing these love notes to her like like I was just like, oh my god, I have a crush on <laughs> Megan Fox. <laughs> no one would blame you. Oh my god, I think she like dyed her hair recently or something, and it looks so cool. It's like really? a, I don't know, an interview came up, and I think she cut her hair really short, and then it's like orange, I think, oh. or reddish. Like if I'm remembering it right, but I liked how it looked, and I was like. That is not something I would expect from her, but, like, it looks good. So, I think it was on the Drew Barrymore show. I always get, like, the Drew Barrymore clips advertised to me. I don't know why, because I don't, like, watch her show, but, like, it always comes up in my YouTube. I'm like, oh. Um, I love to read a little of everything. Yes, Ashley Poston. Sorry, this is, like, from forever ago. I'm very Dead romantics, Yeah. Um, hey, it's been like a year since I made a live. Well, welcome. Oh, Want to pet my snake? That's too much. Yeah. I know. So creepy. <laughs> I've seen snake people like that before, too, in another touristy area. That's so weird. Too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a thing. Hello. Um, people will pay to take pictures with them. Never seen the mopeds. <laughs> <laughs> like it was a gang. Just to reiterate, it was a gang. It was like um, the wheelies or something. That's... I uh, I wish I had a picture. I bet I could look it up. I bet there's been pictures because that's it has just to be. So... I bet they have a Facebook group or something. <laughs> it's like the community where they find similar people with their like niche hobby of moped snake. <laughs> like they're like we have very specific likes here. You guys, <laughs> one of my friends, friends here here is moped like club, like runs a moped club. That's why I'm laughing. I'm like, this hits close. <laughs> it's like close, but not totally there because it's and like I wouldn't put it past him to do that either. Like with a snake or what? Like I do not put that past him. Tell them. Yeah, I mean, you should ask. You should be like, hey, would you do that? Hey, do you know this group of mopeders? <laughs> he probably does, honestly. Like, and I think he's been to New Orleans for moped stuff before. Like, now I'm just like, it's like clicking. What if it was him? What if he was in the group? <laughs> oh my gosh, it probably was. That, that is embarrassing. So but what if, like, I think it was mopeds? Scooters of some kind. I don't, what if I'm wrong about the mopeds? I don't know. But I know that they were on things and they were is riding. A and mini bike? They that it, was like loud it wasn't that loud they're like <laughs> they sound like a little motorcycle i actually don't know i guess i was tipsy at the time but i know it happened like i'm not she making it so up distracted by the snakes i was just like they're coming for us it's like <laughs> all i could really see was like they're they're swarming yeah up. i wouldn't be thinking about the the yeah what they were riding either and then, yeah, like, I even Paul's like, mom, yeah. she was like, oh, my. I was like, yeah, like, what's happening? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, my. That's so funny. Um, I miss Wednesday sprints. Me, too. Thanks for being here. Um, I'm all about the wingspan. <laughs> <laughs> you can't believe I, yeah. Sev, you know I'm all about the smut. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish Akatar? Yes, I finished it all. 
Um, finally got my friend on it. Best drug. Yeah, I miss Akatar already, and I'm watching all these like summary videos because I feel like some of it like. I don't know, not like went over my head as in it was too complicated, but I was trying to get through it so fast that I feel like to like catch everything in that book, you have to really take your time. And I didn't, I was just like, I need to know what's going to happen. Um, and also like, I know it's a very quote unquote easy fantasy book, but I'm not used to reading fantasy. Like that was my first adult fantasy book. And yeah, I know people say it's more romance than fantasy, but I mean, come on. It has Faye in it. Like, there's, there's some... a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of world building in it. Yeah. Like, I'm not used to reading about all that stuff. So, also, I feel like some of the situations, like, if you read a lot of fantasy, it would be easier to be like, oh, yeah. But for me, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> Especially in the first book, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> so... Yeah. And I feel like the first book, too, you were jumping around a lot. Like you're like yeah. one place for a second and then you're here and then you're here and it doesn't really like go. It doesn't, I guess it didn't really info dump, I guess, in it. No. But also you're like, I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. You read like Brandon Sanderson, right, Katrina? Mm -hmm. Was that like really complicated? Um, no. Um, he, so I've read Stormlight and, um, I've tried to read Mistborn. I never got into Mistborn, which is really weird because I really like Stormlight, which is like the high fantasy. Mm -hmm. And Mistborn is like the one everybody really likes. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. Um, but uh, Stormlight, it slowly introduces magic, the magic system mm -hmm. and like the world, like you're following people. And I've seen that be like a complaint. Like, I just want to know like, what is the magic system already? And I'm like, chill. You're on page 50. <laughs> 1200 pages in this book. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, it's very slowly like introduced to you and like mm -hmm. explained. Um, but yeah, Warbreaker's cool. That's a cool like one book that he did. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's like, it's the magic is it's interesting and stuff in it and relationships and stuff are interesting in it. And it does technically tie into Stormlight too. My fantasy yeah, that's showing. Pretty, it's what it seems like with a lot of like fantasy authors, like everything kind of ties into their world. And I don't know if that's less of a thing in horror. I know Stephen King does that, but I guess I don't know. It's just interesting. Think, it's a whole new. I think Todd Kelsling does it too. He for Devil's Creek. He said it takes oh. place in like the same town as Scanlines and like okay, the same people or some. There's like a same character or something in it. But I haven't read Devil's Creek yet. But he was like explaining that to Lexi and I, and we were just like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the same characters in Devil's Creek, but maybe I wasn't paying close enough attention. Hmm. Did you go to a book signing? Yeah, we did the, it was like the Halloween hangover thing. Mm. I we remember did. you guys were going to go to one. I was wondering if that was, was that the one you guys went to? Mm -hmm. Was it fun? It was. I wish, we wish there was like just more stuff to do, like in between stuff. Like it's like they'd have like the, them speaking or doing a reading. And it's mm -hmm. like, oh, I kind of wish like there was like, other stuff going on here but we're literally like in a shopping center at a barnes and noble mm. so um yeah. all you could kind of do is just like walk around and be like oh is is Haley piper back or something you know which yeah. is cool it was cool to meet everybody mm -hmm. uh but also it's kind of like eh, like we can't yeah. stay the whole time because there's like nothing like we could walk to target but <laughs> what? like i yeah. don't know yeah that makes sense I, I, like, I felt so lame. Um, I was like, uh, I don't know what you want to do. We can go back to the city. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. I feel like I always look and see what authors are coming to the bookstores near me, but it's never anyone I'm interested in. Like, it's always just, like, random books that are just generally fiction books that aren't the kind of books I read anyway. So I'm just like... Hmm. Like not that many horror people or thriller authors visit. 
which is a yeah. bummer. Same here. It's It sucks. Like, they've had a couple of reading events, and literally, I'm like, I don't know any of these authors. They're just local yeah. authors. Yeah, a lot of local authors, I feel like, too. Um, my Insta Reels are also all animal-related or cro crochet-related. I kind of want to learn how to crochet, but I don't know if I'm patient enough. Amy learned like so quick. It was crazy. Amy from Amy Noel Reads. Yeah. She learned so quick. She already made her first blanket. That's awesome. I am impressed by people who do those things. <laughs> Katrina is a will master. Teach you. Yeah. I shall teach you, Sav. I we know. I don't have faith in myself, sprint. though. Are you crocheting right now? <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Cute. She's a master. <laughs> are you making a scarf, or what are you making? It's the other half to this. It's going to be the other panel. It's going to be a tank top. Ooh. Oh, that's so cute. I love crocheted tops. They're so cute. Yes. I really want to do, like, um, the triangle ones but i'm like i'm so scared to wear those too i'm like one quick movement you know <laughs> I'm like, like, yeah. you mean like the almost like swimsuit top ones yeah like the pickaboo or sneak a peek or i forget the names i feel like they all have the same names but like yeah like there's like under ones and like oh, ones yeah, yeah. and stuff i'm yeah. like oh my god one swift move and i'm like it's You're a like, show I'm for free yeah I, I like imagine myself weird. just walking down the street and like <laughs> just so, literally that's valid. This is very conservative. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'll start with my conservative one and then we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think crocheting is so cool. Me I just too. I just want to do too many hobbies and then I don't like stick to one. Like I got into diamond painting, but then I never finished mine, which I should just do. I think I just I don't know what happened. I feel like I was diamond painting when everybody was diamond painting around like Halloween, Halloween. Christmas. And then like everyone, have you guys stopped diamond painting? No, I still, I still do it. But like everyone else has stopped that I know. Yeah. I stopped. Yeah. I gave up on like a huge one I got at Michael's for Christmas. And then I was like, I did a couple coasters around Christmas, yeah. like Halloween coasters. Mm -hmm. And then I just. Did you just get burned out? Um, yeah, I guess so. I think I started crocheting again, too, because I had to make Christmas gifts. And I was like, oh, yeah. So I was like, I got to do this. And then I mm. did the diamond painting actually like on Christmas Day or something at my mm. parents because I was just bored and they got me that for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'll use the gift right now. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I would love here and I would love to sit here and watch Swamp People all day with you, but I have to do something else. Like, I cannot. What is Swamp People? It's a reality show where they like catch crocodiles. They can only catch a certain amount because there's like a limit to how many you can catch, and I think they kill them, don't they, Katrina? Yeah, it's horrific. Aww, I'm like, I yeah. hate this so much. Um, You're like, I'm gonna dissociate in diamond paint right now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, I need to finish mine. It's like a really cool rabbit, like, art thing. And I want to put it on the wall. But I, I think wonder Carly if makes... Carly. Oh, huh? sorry. I know oh. Carly was doing a bunch of frog ones. I wonder if Ooh. she brought them to Australia. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, I just, it also hurts my neck, like, no matter what position I'm in. So... That's the other thing. It does hurt mine after a while, too. Mm -hmm. And it's just uncomfortable after a while. But mm -hmm. I'm still doing it. But it's more like coasters. Like, I bought Irish-themed coasters. And I, I also bought, coasters. like, an Irish-themed, like, uh, like mini one. Ooh. I oh, and I have 90s ones for April, for, for old school April. Like, they look like Lisa Frank, if you guys remember Lisa Frank. Are they on them. your Instagram or Discord? Or where are the pictures? I haven't started, like, <laughs> I haven't started the 90s ones, but I have uh -huh. started the coaster. And there is one picture on my Discord of one of the coasters, which is like a shamrock. I want to see it. That's cute. Yeah, I like the shamrocks. They're cute. Yeah. Hello. Welcome. It's always time for Halloween. Heck yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's Carly's kind of sprint. The 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I used to think Insta stories and reels were so stupid, but now I never use Snapchat stories slash TikTok and only do it on Instagram. Yeah, it's kind of nice to have it all in one place, I feel like. 
Um, hi, Lexi. Lexi. Hello. Hello. Um, I don't feel that great. Oh, I'm sorry. So I don't know how long I'll be on here, but yay, Sav. I'm so happy you are reading. This one's going to hurt. Yeah. Thank you for gifting it to me. That was so kind. Got caffeine and did some work on a debate I have tomorrow. Hello. I'm doing coursework. Got 63% into the center. Hello. Welcome. I read Black River Orchard, hung out on cat sprints. I'm here. Um, we are cooking Cajun blackened chicken pasta. Mm. Ooh, heck yes. That sounds so good. Um, I got distracted and only listened to 3%. Well, hey, that was better than me. I, I read zero. But I was productive because I did make food. So <laughs> what does your earring say? 90s kid. And it's like the Nickelodeon splat. Kind Cute. Of. Yeah. 90s kid. I like it. Um, you need to come to South Louisiana. It may be a culture shock. <laughs> You'd have fun. I, okay, I'm really bad at directions. Where is New Orleans in Louisiana? Like, what part of it is? Kind of like south. It is, is south. It Gulf. What, Katrina? Is it in the Gulf? Not like in the Gulf, but it's like near the well, I mean, kind of. It's near a lake as well. I'm really bad at geography. I am not. <laughs> I live here, but I'm not the person to. Ask. I'm bad at geography. I'm like too. I've never been there, but I think it's near water. I, yeah, it's near water. I went to um. New Orleans in high school with my high school orchestra teacher. And literally he took us down Bourbon Street. Like this bitch. Why? That's amazing. It's I love my orchestra teacher in high school. But he took us down. And not only did we walk down Bourbon Street, we walked down Bourbon Street at nighttime. That's when the snakes are going to come for you on the mopeds. <laughs> I'm just like, can you imagine? I'm like, picture walking snakes and having mopeds. <laughs> the I'm sad we didn't see that. I feel like I was just, we got Mardi Gras beats thrown at us. I was like 16. Like, it was interesting. That is <laughs> wild that they took you there. But I amazing. I think it's so well. Okay, here's the thing. He was like, "We're not taking you there, but we're walking through it to reach our hotel." But he was take. I mean, you know. What yeah, I mean? I mean, yeah. Like he was like, they need to see it at least once. But like, we didn't stop. Like we were walking. We did get stopped by people though. <laughs> like perform, like street performers and stuff. They wanted tips. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> so Busking. Funny. Yeah, but I want to go back as like an adult actually and experience it um, as an adult and not a traumatized little child. Actually, I wasn't traumatized. I was very interested. I was like, oh, wow, this is very, this is it's a new world here. <laughs> like, I was well, there's like, lots of good food to eat and tons of places to drink. But I know you've got like food sensitivities, so I don't yeah. know how good that would be. I know. And it and seems I like you. everything's fried. Too. A lot of stuff is fried. Not everything, but mm -hmm. a lot. Well, now I'm really anxious about traveling and eating food out because literally I got gluten a couple weeks ago from a restaurant here and I had to go to the ER and it was like no. horrible. Oh, and no. I was thinking, I was like, oh my God, like if this happened while I was traveling, that would be miserable. So yeah. I don't know. Like, obviously I'll still travel, but yeah, I feel like I have to be just so careful, like only eat stuff that's not like a gluten substitute like for example i don't think i'm gonna eat any more gluten-free like buns or like gluten-free bread because that's what happened i ordered gluten-free bread and mm -hmm. it must have had some kind of gluten in there which is very weird i'm still confused because the bread had the texture of gluten-free bread but i don't know that is weird well you know sometimes yeah. people claim things are gluten-free but it's still cooked like alongside gluten and like sometimes it mm -hmm. can contaminate I think that's what I've heard yeah I feel like probably what happened is like it maybe mostly was gluten-free but somebody because they get it from they order it from somewhere else so I'm guessing someone making it like mixed up the flour so maybe there was some normal flour and some like <clears throat> gluten-free flour because it really did break apart like gluten-free so it was weird but it was definitely gluten because I was like sick so yeah I feel like seafood though would be okay if it was just like plain seafood you know yeah like, not fried, like shrimp and yeah um the only Sanderson I've read is the first Mistborn and kind of surprised it's called adult it felt very YA 
I, yeah, maybe that's why I didn't like it. That's I thought it was funny. YA. I thought I heard people saying it was YA. Hmm. I guess that would make sense that it felt YA. <laughs> Um, hello. I started my first diamond painting recently. It's relaxing. I agree. That's why I still do it because like people who are uber talented, like Katrina and Amy can freaking crochet while listening to an audiobook, but I cannot. There are very few things I can do and diamond painting because it tells you what to put where I'm like, yes, I, I know how to do that. <laughs> oh, that's how I feel. Um, wait, hold on. Sorry, <laughs> I stopped diamond painting because I physically moved far away. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that would prevent diamond painting. I never got into diamond painting because I'm a queen of collecting hobby materials but doing nothing with them. <laughs> um, I have met Troy and Liz from Swamp People. They used <gasps> to shop at the Lowe's I used to work at. <laughs> that is awesome, Roxy. Whenever I'm at my parents' house and they have that show blaring for like 10 hours at a time, I will be like... I, I met somebody who knows these people. I so. think I'm kind of related to one, but not like far related. Away. Yeah, there's a one that's named Kleebear, and that is my mom's maiden name. So I think like distantly, because it's yeah. not like not when anybody I met, but his last name is Kleebear. Mm. And I think my grandpa was like, yeah, that's a... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what he said, but something. And I can't ask my grandpa. He passed away a while ago. But he said something like, we are distantly related. And I was like, oh, weird. God. I wonder. That's claim to fame. It's creepy. It's like, I'm a freaking creepo related to this dude killing gators. Poor gators. It's creepy. I think they really? killed, like, a bunch of different animals in some of the episodes. And I was like, wait, I thought they were only killing gators. And they're like, no, they they kill whatever and then they eat whatever they can. To well, keep. they do eat whatever they can. So it is kind of like it. they have to because they're so reliant, I guess. I know they eat frogs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I think frogs. it was, like, frogs or, like, a snake or something. And I was like, yeah, oh, that's... That's really gross. sad and gross. I could not eat a frog. Sorry. I think <laughs> they taste like what you think they taste like. Chicken? Like, gross. like dirty oh, water. <laughs> Just people always say stuff tastes like chicken. I'm like, chicken? I don't know. No, I, dirty water chicken. Oh, yeah. I think the weirdest thing I've eaten is escargot, but it was like in a really yummy, like, butter aioli. Oh dip and so it was good and i was like dang who knew snails could be good <laughs> i, was like, I had no idea they could be good they're good they taste like mushrooms but also kind of like shrimp it's mm. like a, it's it's surprisingly good and i was like dang i never would have thought i would like it so yeah, um, the french are known for making like all the bad parts taste really good Yes, it's hard. Like, they smell like seem disgusting because it's the yeah. bad parts. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I literally went to France and I didn't try anything in France, but I went to a restaurant that was like a French restaurant, and that's when I tried the escargot because they were like, it's good. And like, if you haven't had it, you'll probably like it because of the sauce it's in. And I was like, okay, I'm never going to try it any other time. So like, might as well just try it now. And That's I actually the time if ever, when you're yeah. actually in France, Say yeah. it was good. Exactly. Live, we, love, we. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> We're readers. We don't do geography or math. Yeah. Thank you. Quite literally. Is this a thing? Like, do readers like math or do we not like math, like, ever? No math. I was good at math, but, like, ask me to do a simple <laughs> addition or multiplication. I suck. My mom used to be like, what's eight times eight? What's nine times eight? Like, she drilled me in the car when I was, like, a teenager. And I'd be like, Ugh. I'd get, like, all tongue-tied. And I was like, this is what calculators are for. And they were That's like, you're not going to have a calculator every day. They said that, and then we got phones. And you're like, actually, we do, so. Like, bitch. Yeah. Pull a Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, who's bitch. laughing now, bitch? We got calculators <laughs> on our phones. 
<laughs> I know, but then they'll say, oh, well, your phones die. What will you do when your phone dies? Why would I need to know like eight plus whatever? Like if my phone died, like I don't think about these things. I don't Me think either. I these things. I don't know. I get the like direction thing because if my phone does die, I'm screwed. Oh like, yeah, I'll there's no way. Me. There's no way. My friend, I will be in the wilderness. My friend's reading a Nancy Drew and she's like, she's using a roadmap. And I was like, I wouldn't even know how to use one of those. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Literally, don't, I would be lost. <laughs> oh, I live in Coastal Parish. I don't know where that is. You? No. <laughs> <laughs> I should know, but no. <laughs> Is different in Cajun country. There's the chicken run in Mamu. Mamu? Mamu, Mamu for Mardi Maybe. Gras, where they chase chickens to cook in a gumbo. I'm laughing because I should know this stuff. Like, who, what's wrong with me? I'm I like, just I don't know Kelsey, anything. Like, help, please. You're People like, are going to be like, Kelsey doesn't know anything about her native land. I was like, I don't. <laughs> Fried, smothered, and gravy are made with a roux. Mm -hmm. And you definitely don't have roux. It's made with flour. I don't even know what roux is. It's essentially just like flour and butter, like m cooked mm. for a very long time. Mm. I think you could also cook it with uh, flour and oil. It depends. There's different kinds of roux. You could do one or the other. And you cook it, like you just have to keep stirring it or it burns into the skillet. Mm -hmm. So you keep like stirring and stirring and stirring. And then you can get it really dark. And a really dark one has certain flavors and a really light one has certain flavors. And then you just add other ingredients once you're done with that roux. It's basically like a base of a gravy. That's all it is. Interesting. I would have never known. I only know because I worked on like a cooking show where um, I was the floor director and our chef like made roux like every mm -hmm. week on every episode. That's cool. Did you get to like eat the food after the episodes? Yeah. Ooh, that's that's a it good was program. amazing. Yeah. It was it was a great, a great experience. I did a couple of seasons with the show. And then I also did this other chef who totally got like in trouble because of like uh sexual harassment. He was not fun. The other chef, Kevin Belton, was fun. So Kevin Belton oh. was like the one who made the room was really cool. The other one, like people were scared of him. Oh, like, that's we all sad. avoided him. Yeah, we didn't like him. Ugh, that's not good. Yeah. I definitely used to watch Swamp People as a kid. <laughs> I'm related to some Herbert, so we may be distantly related. Oh. That would be cool. I've literally had diamond painting kits for a couple of years, haven't touched them. I just opened one today and was surprised at how small the diamond pieces are. Yeah. <laughs> They're tiny. Yeah. It's like you'll be working for hours and barely have done anything. And you're like, oh. I feel like I go so fast. I don't know why I get in like a groove and I'm like, yes. Mm -hmm. I've seen those videos where there's those things that you can pick up multiple at once and it's like, like, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't <laughs> you only do the one the whole time i do the one the whole time every time yeah no yeah and <laughs> i like doing multiple, it the one do you use the multiple ones yeah like the nine how do you, where nine do you get them i've only seen them on like reels you can like uh get a kit from amazon or something and they okay. have a bunch of different sizes in it like i think i have like a nine one I think that might be my biggest one. My mom has like super fancy ones though. I think she has like a 12 one Whoa. and it's is like it, the like, marble ones. And is I, it tedious though? Like it, does it make it actually easier? It goes faster, but sometimes it does go on crooked and then you have right. to use the plastic thing to scoot it. But mm -hmm. I think it's faster than doing one at a time. Especially I've if you're only big, done one. If you're in a big area and you're only doing one at a time. Well, yeah, no, I mean, the, the Michaels ones are huge. So I've never done a Michaels sized like you did, Katrina, uh, or we're trying to do. So I don't know about that. That might take forever with one at a yeah. time. I don't even know the dimensions of the one I was doing, but it was like big. It wasn't as big as like the Michaels ones you guys had, I feel like, but it was decently sized. So, yeah, I was doing one at a time. So <laughs> it took a long time. Um. Wait, sorry. I keep skipping comments. I think they probably also caught pythons on swamp people because of the invasiveness. Mm. Probably so. Hello. I ate fried alligator in Arkansas and it tasted a lot like chicken. 
That's what I'm saying. People always say, oh, it tastes like yeah. chicken, no matter what it is. Yeah. Never have I wanted to try escargot, but now I'm curious. Yeah, like if it's in a really good, I keep saying sauce. I guess aioli is sauce, but like if it's flavorful in something, I think it's good. I think actually a lot of people could enjoy it. Um, I did calculus in high school and now do taxes and bookkeeping, but can't do basic math without counting my fingers. Yeah, me too. Um, no, I live in a coastal parish, not the name of the parish. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, I don't, I've never heard no. of coastal parish, a coastal parish. Yes, I know oh, about the yeah. coastal parishes. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say, I was like, I've never heard of a parish called coastal. Like, yeah. there's all kinds of parishes I do know the name of, but I was like, coastal, <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> Um, we cook it in flour and oil. I use roux for gravy and mac and cheese. Yum. Mac and cheese sounds good right now. I can't type. It's okay. I can't either. <laughs> when I first moved to Florida, I still ate meat and tried alligator. Wasn't anything amazing. Yeah. I don't think I've ever tried it, but I've seen it in those like jerky things like beef jerky and it's like alligator jerky and I'm like cool. mm, no thank you I couldn't I think I you know what I say I couldn't but I probably have tried it before I know I was like I feel like you something. probably would do that yeah like yeah. on a dare or something I ate something weird on a dare once I can't remember if it was I don't know what it was uh Paul's dad, when we were visiting them, they made me, they were like, oh, you want to try this whatever pate? Maybe it was liver pate. And I was like, I'd never like that. I actually ate it. It was okay. I don't think I could eat liver. I think that's like the... Yeah, it was weird. But it was, okay. I mean, it wasn't like making me nauseous or anything. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do the next sprint. 30 minutes. I never know how to like say we're gonna read, so read. No worries. Read. I no. shall read.
Hello. Welcome back. I didn't read. <laughs> I wanted to, and then I just had no energy to read. So that was just on my phone, but that's okay. How was uh, everybody else's sprint? I also did not read. <laughs> I took a shower and I played on my phone as well, like Ooh. answered some Discord stuff. And also I was watching my recommend date. I can't talk. I was watching my recommendation video because do you ever get the feeling when you record something, you're like, that sucked. But then when you watch it back, you feel a little better. Like it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. So mm -hmm. I wanted to have that feeling. So I started watching it. It was like, please let it be better than I think it is. And it is a little. So good. It's okay. good. Yeah. I feel like we're always more critical than we need to be. So it's true. Kelsey, that video is great. What are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you. You are oh so sweet. Gosh. Wait, did you release it already? No, no. Okay. No, I was like, did it's I miss it? Going to be great. It will be great. It's going to be epic. Thank you. What did you do during the sprint, Katrina? I finished. Youth Juice. Ooh, I didn't know you were like far into it. Yeah, um, it was okay. I just kept thinking of Rouge and I was like, mm -hmm. I feel like that story was told a little bit better. Mm, that's a bummer. Um, but I mean, it's enjoyable. Okay. It was enjoyable, but I was like, I just wanted a little bit more. Yeah. So like three Do star. You know Three stars. Three stars. Okay. Yeah. When I feel kind of like, nah, well, that was a book. I'm like, eh, <laughs> I didn't hate it, but yeah. yeah, it was okay. I do like the cover a lot, though. Mm -hmm. with the blood. Um, I think people will like it. I think it's, yeah, it's, it's a pleaser. The name is cool. Yeah. I feel like sometimes when books have such good covers, they're like less good. Unless they like incorporated it in somehow. I feel like that's yeah. like I've very recently like two for this vlog. I, it's like Diavola I read for it and that cover is really good and it it's in the story. And then the eyes are the best part by Monica Kim too. It's like they're all great covers and like mm -hmm. they are all happening in the story. And I'm like, you get like points for that for me. Like you don't yeah. have some random cover or something. A lot yeah. of vintage horror does that. Like you get a random skeleton yeah. riding like a tricycle and there's not a skeleton riding a tricycle in the book. And you're like, no, I was fooled. I was <laughs> or fooled. cat magic with the giant cat on it. And there's at no point there's a giant cat. In it New was Jersey. a lie. Yeah. I was like, get oh, that. advertising. I don't I get like, that at all. Like why would they do that? Well, back in the day, like those kind of covers sold well. So that's why. But yeah. today, I don't know why they still do that. Right, right. Yeah, I don't know. I'm so basic with food. I hate trying new things. I mean, I don't ever try new things at restaurants. Like if I find one thing I like, I will always buy the same thing pretty much. So <laughs> tastes like swamp chicken. That's about it. Also, hello. I'm currently reading Dragonfall and Trials of Apollo. Um, hi, miss seeing your face. Hi. Um, so happy to see you all. I'm reading The Teacher. Is that the Frida McFadden one? I think. How long are you sprinting for? Um, I think I'm gonna do one more sprint tonight. Um, so you'll get one more. <laughs> I might um, dip out. Yeah. Yeah. I am like, I probably don't seem it, but I'm slightly under the weather. So I'm like, probably need to go after this one. Um, did nothing productive. Just looked at a nearby tattoo artist on Instagram. I've been itching to get another one. Ooh, that's exciting. A frog. Sorry. I had to say it. I How hope it's you? a frog with a knife. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I send Froggy or Carly so many. <laughs> people don't know. I call her Froggy. Anyway, she she is cool with it. So, but 
I send her so many froggy reels and memes on Instagram. It's scary. Like, I'm like, she's going to have me arrested for harassing her with all these memes and reels. It's just frogs. Like, every frog thing I see, I'm like, send, 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 send. I love that. I hope it's a frog tattoo. <laughs> I hope it stays yeah, yeah, again. Like... Oh, sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, you go. But I was just going to say the frog with the knife sounds amazing. Yeah, and it's like the wind in the willows frog. Yeah. With the knife, like in his little vest, and he just has a <laughs> knife instead of like he's usually in I feel like you usually see him with the driving gloves and he's like driving the car. That cracked me up. I watched that for like the first time over like the pandemic and I kept rewinding it and like replaying it back and laughing so so hard. You guys can probably tell my state of mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alex was like, why do you keep rewinding it? I'm like, he's just so excited, like, <laughs> about this car. Like, oh, my God. It was great. Um, got 70% into the center and am working on crocheting granny squares. The yarn I'm using is so pretty, but it's also the worst. Oh, oh. yeah. That sucks if it's the worst to work with. Started my weekly psych coursework. <laughs> Um, I will be getting frogs at some point, but there's so many different things I want. That would be so cute. Uh, you need to get frog tattoos. Um, the funny thing is the more you send me them, the more they show up on your feet. <laughs> the algorithm. The What did I just say? The algorithm. It's an endless cycle and I've been sucked in. I love it. Or I just tag her and I'm like, you have to watch Frog Man. <laughs> Everybody in the world. I want to watch, watch it. it. What it is changed it? my life? I don't know. Uh, what that is. It's like a in, new indie, well, a newish indie, like found footage film, and yeah. it's like I think it's shot on VHS. Some scenes in it and stuff, and it's like mm -hmm. cosmic horror. But it's like this dude looking for a cryptid he caught on camera when he was ten. It's like. Frogman in Loveland. I think it's probably Florida or something. And he goes back as an adult and he's super obsessed because everybody for years said he's fake. He faked the footage and stuff like that. He's like, no, Frogman is real. And he goes to the town and like the town's like people are a little weird about it. Like they're way mm -hmm. too into Frogman. And is it like a comedy or a horror? <laughs> like I can't tell. I think it plays it plays that line really mm -hmm. well throughout mm -hmm. until it's like full on horror and you're like you're gasping you're like oh my god <laughs> no <laughs> frogman <laughs> yeah I really liked it I was like oh that was so good to see like because I was really bummed about imaginary like I saw that this weekend and it really sucked and I was mm -hmm. like so bummed and then I was like I gotta watch frogman because I need something to like shift my my brain into liking horror movies again. <laughs> I was like, this was... can't happen. Yeah, I was nervous as soon as I saw it was like from the creators of Five Nights at Freddy's. I was like, oh, I feel like it's going to be really toned down. Is that like what it was? Like it wasn't scary? Yeah, it wasn't scary. And it like nothing was explained. It had so many oh. plot holes and like the acting was really weird. I don't know if they like did a weird edit, but you know, like when people are just awkward interacting, like that's how imaginary it was. It was like all the acting mm -hmm. in it. I was like, did they just cut or it, it like had weird cuts and stuff in it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It was, it which sucked too. Cause they did practical effects in it, but it mm -hmm. still like didn't work. And I was no. like, yeah. yeah, I was worried that that was going to happen, which sucks because I love the concept of it, but I was like, oh, I'm nervous. So it's a bummer, though. Yeah. Um, Just got done with some sprints with Liv. I'm still reading, though, and saw your sprints, so hopped on. Well, welcome. Are you guys still sprinting? I'm reading No One Can Know and have 90 pages left. I'm going to do one more sprint, so you are welcome to stay. Um, I was surprised when I looked up Frogman. The movie poster made it look like an old movie. Yeah, I need to look it up now. I'm curious. I feel like I saw it somewhere. Um, I only know about it because of Mandy from Mandy Morg. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Her review on YouTube was hilarious. It was like, <laughs> have you ever wondered about a cryptid? Like, if that cryptid can fuck or something? And I was like, excuse me, ma'am? <laughs> 
Excuse me? Is it like, <laughs> do you think I would like it immediately? No, I That's don't. That's why I'm like, should no. I watch it? Like, I don't know. It's it's like um it is like a bit of a slow burn like a lot of stuff happens in the last like 15 10 minutes of it uh -huh. but like throughout it's kind of like these three friends who used to make movies together and they kind of like are doing this last like movie thing together before one of them moves away so it's like a lot of like mm -hmm. friendship stuff and like um this guy's like kind of obsession too you can see him like just being obsessed and his friends are like let's just have fun and he's like i'm obsessed with frog man <laughs> like <laughs> i just can't get over like frog man like it doesn't sound scary you know it does you know it doesn't look scary until stuff happens okay i think i'm sold i think i need to watch that i need to watch it like for I'm, sure. I'm intrigued enough where i'm like i can handle movies where you have to sit through it it's like books where you have to sit through it where i can't as much like you know yeah. I it felt is like, like lovecraftian mm. too so if you like I'm weird yes happening yeah i was yeah. not expecting that either i was like oh my gosh <laughs> I um felt like Saltburn was kind of like slow in the beginning, but I sat through it and then I was like, oh. Yeah, the Oxford stuff is like kind of boring. Yeah, like I I almost said DNF. I mean I did like I DNF the movie. The movie after like <laughs> 10 minutes. I was like, this is boring. But then I was like, okay, I need to watch it. And wow. Yeah. Those three scenes. There are yeah. three scenes, let me tell you. And I was like, oh my God. Have you both seen it? I have not seen it, but I know about the scenes. See, I didn't have the scenes like ruined for me. I didn't know what they were. So I was just like completely blind, Neither. knew it would be weird, but like didn't know it would be that weird. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, what am I watching? <laughs> so alarming. Especially the last one. Like the last one. <laughs> the grave yeah he I told everybody to leave too that was like his idea really the actor yeah he was like everybody leaves set i'm gonna do this so he just wanted to do that mm -hmm. kind of just that, that was the part that sold me all the movie though honestly i was like yes. you knew it was kind of like that was gonna happen i did not know and but i was like oh like is, when it happened you're like okay this is like the the gothic thriller yeah. vibes like yeah I, when they referenced mary shelley i knew something was going to happen on a grave i just wasn't sure what like, like how yeah. <laughs> i also was like is that a prosthetic like, <laughs> like what oh yeah no and no. i was like oh my god <laughs> just everything about the scene was <laughs> a lot i was like Okay. And then the end end, I was like, okay, that is an ending. And you were like, that is not a prosthetic. <laughs> that is not a prosthetic. Now I can't think too much. But there's with no the way. Gra but like with the grave scene, do you know what I mean? Like I was like, there's no way someone would film that. Like, no Apparently way. Apparently he did. I know, but for some reason I was like, there's no way. Like I mean, yeah, most normal people would be like, I don't want to film that. But he's like, yo, this is my idea. Also, <laughs> I am so surprised he's dating Sabrina Carpenter. Just going to say that. Did you know they're dating? Who's Sabrina Car I never know how to say that actor's name. I feel like I always say it wrong. Oh, I don't know his name at all. But that man and Sabrina Carpenter. And I'm very surprised. But that's a side note. Um... <laughs> This is dangerous. I thought for sure I had to go to a bigger city for a good artist, but there's a few great ones where I am. That's kind of nice, but yeah, tattoos are expensive. Um, frogman. <laughs> Mrs. Caliban is almost a frogman romance. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I love that movie so much. It was so unhinged. It was a masterpiece. I liked it, but I'm like so conflicted with how I actually feel about it. If that makes sense. What like, was your first, like, I hate this for term, but like, what was your first takeaway when it was done? I think I was just like, what the fuck did I just watch? Like, that was my takeaway. Actually, I do really like movies that like 
I'm shook by where I'm like my jaws on the ground. Like I like movies like that. I just wanted – see, I don't want to spoil anything. But let's just say it could have been darker in my opinion, like more of a horror. Like it was kind of horror, but it was like less than I was anticipating. So it's just – and whenever somebody says anything, like if they're like, oh, it's like eat the rich or like it's like this and it should have been this. I'm like, it's so shallow. It is nothing it, like it was just like, yeah. I'm going to be this like I'm going to film rich people in this, yeah. you know, estate and I'm going to have this horrible character. And, you know, that's it. Like, that's honestly yeah. like and that's what the director said. That she's like, no, it's like so shallow. It's like the right. shallowest thing. It's like. It wasn't an eat the rich moment. It was just yeah. like a, a greed, like that dude's a vampire. Like mm -hmm. it's like he just wanted their lives. Like it's yeah, not, and it was so, like it's more shallow than that. So everybody's trying to like break it down and like psychologically yeah. and stuff. And it's like no, nah, it's like a gothic thriller that's super shallow. Like it's trash. Like it is yeah. like a trashy movie. <laughs> yeah, but I like. So I'm very conflicted with what I actually think. I kind of wish it was more like deep, you know? And I think that's people's like biggest thing. They were like, oh, you know, this director had it could have could have a moment to like say something because she is a bit of a like a rich like born into this type of thing too. Uh, but it's like, but why? Why does she have to? Like yeah. she wanted to make a story about obsession and yeah. being shallow and she did it. <laughs> Which is why I've like am so back and forth with, with what I actually think. I just don't think I'd ever rewatch it. It's not one of those where I'm like, oh my gosh, like I have to rewatch it because there's so much symbolism. Like, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, it was yeah. filmed in a very interesting way, though. I will give it that. Um, it was also, wait, I was also surprised that they're dating. It's Barry Kogan, but I always want to say like, key go in or something oh really yeah stuff. yeah yeah because he was in the um killing of the sacred deer and i remember watching that and just being like that was the most depressing thing i've ever seen in my whole life and then he yeah. has such a weird face i know if he, i mean i think he's beautiful or whatever but like the way his face like his structure like his mm -hmm. eyes are so close to <laughs> <laughs> the way you're like <laughs> yeah i'm just I like mean, if you, you know what i think but i'm like you know what I think it is? I think it's his character. Like, how do I explain this? I think it's like when he's in character on film, he looks very unusual. But when you see him in like a normal interview, he looks more normal. Like when he's being himself, it's he's not like acting like a sociopath. So it like doesn't. But he has a face that you can really like read emotion on in a specific way. And he can like lean into his more unique features, I think. But yeah. I saw, like, him just talking, like, normally once, and I was like, oh, like, he looks totally different. Like, he doesn't look like how he appears in movies. So, I don't know. I know what you're saying, though. Um, Just got here. Will there be – or wait. Whoa. I just, like, made that sentence up. <laughs> we'll be reading an arc called The Last Guest House by Carolina Mitchell during the sprints. <laughs> cool. Sorry, I'm laughing because I was – I read that as will there be. And I was like, that's not right. Um, I won't sit down to watch a movie, but when I go and watch hours of YouTube video essays on the movie instead. <laughs> yeah. He certainly did enjoy his blood as a vampire. Oh, that scene. I can't. I, yeah. I love Rosamund Pike in that yeah. character, the mom. She's hilarious. I know. Oh I know. She's like, oh, that song was written about me. Common people. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bitch. No. I like this comment. I know people find him weird hot, but I just don't see it. I don't see it either. I'm so sorry. I don't think he's hot necessarily. I think he's like just unique, like that, like, which is beautiful too in its own way. Like, mm -hmm. he I would never be SNL like Nell. And I got so turned off for seeing the movie because I thought he was the ho most horrible host. I was like, oh my god, his acting sucks. I'm so sorry. 
at least SNL acting. I know that's not the same. Oh, kind of I can't watch cinematic. SNL. I'm sorry for people who love it. I just, for me, I can't. Like, I, I don't like not. theater type of acting, which yeah. SNL is kind right. of like, same. like stage same. acting. Uh, it's not my jam, but Paul like watches it every week and I'm in the room. So I saw it and then I saw him like mm -hmm. as the guest host and I was like, my God, like nothing was playing out. But everyone's yeah. like, oh, 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 my latest movie, Saltburn. And like all these women started screaming. They're like, <laughs> and I was like, I don't understand. Oh, because they've all seen him like you see. Well, yeah, him. I know. Yeah. So they you see, you you see, see him, him fully naked. It, to see him in person was probably like, I've seen, you know, you have to tell him, right? Like, I'm <laughs> like I've seen your wiener. I'm sorry. I've yeah, I'm gonna seen stop. it all. Okay. <laughs> I just am really surprised that he thought of that scene. Like, imagine just being like, that's a great idea. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of creepy that he thought of it. I mean, maybe that's respectable, though, in a way. Like, he's he went weird. There. He I've was seen there. him talk at interviews and he's like, yeah, I always um when he like uh, auditions and stuff he 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 makes it everything so dark like everything mm. he reads and stuff and I mean look at how he's cast but yeah, yeah I mean once again the fact he's dating Sabrina Carpenter is so wild to me because she's known as this like light airy like like her aesthetic I know it's like her brand like singers are their brand it's not how they are as a whole and also he's not this like dark person or something you know probably I mean we don't know actually <laughs> but what I'm I mean, trying to say he's is like yo I want to do this with this grave I think it'll be great for the film <laughs> right I just mean like their images are just so opposite it's like what opposites <laughs> attract I guess yeah <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I think I'm gonna do the last sprint. I know that Katrina has to leave, possibly Kelsey. I, have to sleep. I do. Okay. I do. Because Paul's on his way home from the bar right now, and I this is first like full night back home yes. from out of town. But thank you guys for hanging out. Make sure to subscribe to them if you aren't already. I bet everyone is, but their channels are below. Um, and I'm gonna do one more sprint, and I think. I might do a 45 minutes sprint. So I'm going to change it. But have a good night, you guys. Thanks for bye. having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Bye. I missed you. Bye. 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 I'm adjusting the timer. So I was like waving at not them. Like I was waving at my timer. <laughs> but I am going to do a 45 minute timer and I will talk to you all in 45.
Hello. Welcome back. How was everybody's reading or whatever you were doing? Um, I didn't read, <laughs> but I was chilling. I went to the store a little bit and I got some pens that I needed because I've been wanting some new pens. So I did that um, and I tried to look for like a bullet journal there, but there wasn't a good option. So I think I'm just going to order something on Amazon. Um, but let me know how you did. I've really found any SNL skits funny. Yeah, same. Three minute sprint. Join the short sprint club. Yeah. <laughs> No, thank you. Um, bye, Katrina and Kelsey. It was so fun having them on. Um, I'm going to clean the kitchen then bath. Um, thanks for her the sprints, of course. Hello. Um, hello. Hello. I have a bit over 40 minutes left in my audiobook, Dr. Thorne by Anthony Trollope. Nice. Hi. I've got 26 pages to finish and then off to bed. Hope you finish those pages. Um, never mind. I'm, I'm going to bathe a little later, ho hoping for one more reading sprint after this. Sorry, that was the last sprint. Um, uh, my throat's really starting to hurt now, so I think I have to stop. Um, bye Carly. Um, I finished my book and I want to throw it. I have too many unanswered questions. Oh no, that's frustrating. I finished my, wait, I just read that. <laughs> what book did you read? Um, the Witching Tree, I just realized there's another book after this, so I placed a hold on it. Well, I hope the next book gives you more of like, you know, your answers and that you'll be less frustrated. Working through my developmental psychology work, got a bit done. Nice. 80% finished with my local poetry club. 10 chapters into Trials of Apollo, book one. Cool. Hello. Hello. Um, hello, not used to these being daytime sprints now that I'm in Australia. Oh, yeah. Read about 30 pages. Nice. Is there a Lights Out Book Club this month? So this month, I actually, sorry, I didn't announce this, but um, it's just going to be for my patrons this month. I'm usually not going to do it that way, but just this month, um, the Lights Out Book Club is for my patrons. But we'll be starting up for Public Lights Out Book Club um, next month for the rest of the year. Um, finished my audiobook and started watching Nicole's new video on the confessions of Nat Turner. Nice. Also didn't read. I washed my hair and did the nighttime routine. Always love seeing you, Sav. Thanks for the sprints. Thanks for hanging out, Kat. It was nice to see you. Just in time for the end. I'm sorry, but I made it. I know I feel bad. If I felt better, I would keep going. But unfortunately tonight, I am not feeling the best, so I think I just need to rest for the rest of the night and go to bed early. Um, but it was so fun doing sprints again. I will be doing public sprints more frequently now, um, so I'm looking forward to hanging out with you all more, and I think I'm going to call it a night. Hopefully, I'll be able to read. Um, this one's going to hurt pretty soon. The only thing is there's no audiobook, so I'll have to read it physically, which I'm just so used to listening to books now. Um, but I'll read it physically. Um, yeah, of course. Thanks for hanging out. I will talk to you all later. Bye.